Hello, hello gang. Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. Guys, it's another video today where I show you all how much my stash has grown. As many of you may know or may remember from watching videos I've done recently, I am making a huge, huge effort this year to cut down on my spending. I am not going to be buying as furiously as I was in the last year or two. Um, I've actually taken a decision pretty much to almost stop buying completely from small stores and only to place very rare orders with Diamond Art Club. So today's uh, video does actually have quite a lot of kits, but for example, these four that you see on your screen now come from Muni Made, and I bought these sometime in December. She had a really good sale, I think, to get rid of some stock, and so I decided to pick these ones up. Um, Muni Made is a company that I love. She often has images that I love, but unfortunately, I can't afford her canvases. Her canvases are definitely priced on the, in my humble opinion, very, very high side. Um, so I don't tend to buy from Muni Made. So when the sale came about, I decided to pick up four that had actually been on my wish list for quite a long time. I then have a couple to show you from Dreamer Designs and then I think about five or six from Diamond Art Club. So that is what you are going to be seeing in this video. Um, like I say, this order is from December. I think my Dreamer Designs order could have been from December or early January and then even my Diamond Art Club some are from December. In terms of my spending this year, I have hardly ordered anything you guys. I think I have placed one, one order with Diamond Art Club. So I am pretty much sticking to my low buy and I feel pretty good about it. So anyway gang, let's kick off this video now. Let me show you what I bought from Muni Made. So as always, I will not be unboxing or opening up the packages. You won't be actually seeing the canvases. You are just going to see the actual images of what I've bought. So let's start with this one, you guys. Like I said already at the start of this video, that this is Muni Made. These are the four canvases that I bought from there. So basically, having a look at this first one, this is called Sugar Plum Fairy by Femke Debra. It is a square drill diamond painting in the size 50 by 70 centimeters. Then the next one I got from Muni Made. Oh, you know, I'm a sucker for mermaids. <laughs> so I did decide to pick this one up again. This one is by Femke Debra. It's called Deity of Sunset. Again, it's a square drill painting. And again, in the size 50 by 70 centimeters. I, I mean, like I say, I'm a sucker for mermaids and just look at the colors in this, all the oranges and yellows. So yes, I think you guys know that um, this one was really going to speak to me. So I decided to get that one. Then the third canvas I picked up, well, what a surprise. <laughs> it's another mermaid, but I'm so happy that this one is around because I really do want to get some round drill kits in my stash. Again, guys, the same artist, Femme Cadebra. This one is called Deity of Balance. Like I've said, it's round drills in a size 50 by 70 centimeters. And then lastly, the last kit that I got from Muni Made is a bigger one. It's this one called Alma the Cosmic Witch. And this one is by Tally Sketch. It's a square in the size 60 by 85 centimeters. So quite a bit bigger. But I mean, isn't that image also just so gorgeous? And obviously the blues and the fact that she's a witch. I mean, mermaids and witches for me will have me every time. So yes, guys, super excited to have picked up that one. So those are pretty much my four canvases that I got from, from Muni Made. Really excited with all four of these. I mean, I am going to have to work on at least two of these this year. <laughs> So right, that wraps up what I got from Muni Made. Let me now show you what I got from Dreamer Designs. Right, my friends, from Dreamer Designs, I only have two kits to show you. Uh, the first one is on your screen now. This one is a very unusual image for me, actually, because I don't tend to gravitate towards holiday type kits. 
But I just, for some reason, I just love the look of this one. And then it really does give me an option when December rolls around this year to actually do sort of a holiday themed kit. So this one is called Santa Claus. The artist is listed as Wimples or GratefulLicensing.com. This is a 60 by 60. And I'm very sorry, I cannot tell you if it's a round or a square because I don't remember. And this is one of my criticisms with the Dreamer Designs boxes. I think it is totally bizarre that their boxes don't show you whether the kit inside the box is round or square. So like when I look at my stash, it doesn't tell me, you know, what each kit is. So if I'm feeling like working on a round, I literally have to go onto the website and then start going by canvas by canvas that I have in my stash until I can find one that appeals to me that is around as an example. So I do find it extremely strange. I mean, if I was Dreamer Designs, I would be sorting out that problem very fast. But anyway, guys, as it is, I don't know if it's round or square, but that is the image. Then next up, guys, is this one that is on your screen now called Fox and Flowers. Again, the artist is listed as, well, I shouldn't say again because it wasn't Sasha last time, it was Wimples. But this one is Sasha and also artlicensing.com. Again, a 60 by 60, and I'm sorry once again, obviously, I can't remember if this one was round or squares, but isn't this fox just so cute? I actually think I may be kitting this one up fairly soon. I don't know why, but I just feel like working on this one. It will just be something a little bit different from all the sort of portrait style art that I'm working on at the moment. So definitely keep your eye out for an unboxing on of this one, you guys, because I think I am going to get to it pretty soon. And then last, as always, I think I always show my Diamond Art Clubs last. So let me show you the six kits that I have from Diamond Art Club. Some of you may remember that I have been collecting this series from Auclair Studios. They have released a whole um, Zodiac series and I am collecting it. So on your screen right now is Aquarius. Again, like I've said, it's by Auclair Studio. This is a square drill diamond painting in the size 55.8 times 55.8 centimeters. Then next up in the very same series, we have Pisces. Again, as I said, it's all clay studios. It's also a square. I think all of their releases in the series are squares and the sizes are all the same. So again, 55.8 times 55.8 centimeters. And then guys, the last painting in the same series that I have to share with you is Taurus. So again, as I've already said, it's a square, it's all clear studios, and the size is the same as the others, 55.8 times 55.8. And then moving on, Yahoo, it's not a Zodiac. <laughs> you guys must get so tired of seeing Zodiacs on this channel. I just have an absolute thing for them. But anyway, the next one is by the very well-known Ivy Dollamore. This is called The Spiral. It's a square drill diamond painting in the size 55.8 times 78.7 centimeters. And then the second last canvas uh, or kit that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is a little bit out of my comfort zone. Many of you probably know or remember from things I've said in my videos that I'm really not a landscape, cityscape, forestscape, whatever type of person. But this image, when I saw it released and then I watched the sneak peek, it just absolutely stole my heart. I know it's a little bit difficult to see it, you know, on the small, tiny little image, but I just fell in love with the color scheme because there's lots of purples and so on in this one. And then obviously the path here is sort of lit up to this like Chinese almost monument or, I mean, it's not a temple, but this is all sort of in yellows and, oh, I just fell in love with this image, you guys. So this one is called Path of Light. The artist is Jenny Lee. It's a square drill diamond painting in the size 55.8 centimeters times 88.9 centimeters. And then last, but by no means least, because I absolutely love this image. This image is just me. Um, I know some people weren't very attracted to this one because it's got a very 
um, monotone sort of color palette and it's not very bright it's sort of browns and beiges and blacks and so on but oh this one stole my heart and also guys this is one of those extra large I call them extra large diamond art club kits I really am trying not to buy very many of these because I'm just not getting to them but I couldn't help myself with this one I fell in love with it when it was released it is called steampunk cat daddy by Jeff Haney um, a square drill diamond painting in the size 65 centimeters times 83 centimeters so like I've said it is large that said it's not as large as some that I am seeing Diamond Art Club releasing at the moment I don't know if I'm alone in my thoughts with this but what I've been noticing you know as at the date of filming this video is man alive Diamond Art Club are just sort of gravitating towards releasing really large kits like it seems like the days of getting a 52 by 74 centimeter kit those days seem to be in the past anyway guys that is my latest haul the next one will probably be in about a month or so maybe six weeks i'm not sure it just depends how much i get in like i've said already i have slowed down my buying and so you know i need to wait until i have a good few canvases that have arrived before i do another haul video thank you so much for joining me today you guys if you enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up and like i say feel free to comment in the comment section down below and let me know what sort of size or sizes of diamond paintings you guys love and you love working on. Okay, gang, happy diamond painting. Bye!